we're going to do this just like we did before. We're taking our existing inner pad, charging it, but this time with the pure alcohol, putting it in our used pad. I mean, you can use a new pad, that's fine, um, if you really want to, but I'm okay using this one because it still has some shellac left in it that I'm planning on it applying to the top. Again, squeeze it till it comes out, push it on the side. Squishing it on the side um, distributes that uh, alcohol throughout the pad and it also flattens this so we get a good flat to start rather than kind of a more pointed start. I've added a side light onto here so you can kind of see what's happening. Now, we need to be super careful and super light about this. We have to be really light. When we come in on these strokes, we can't push on and then squish all the way across. We have to come in lightly, out lightly. So try to avoid banging into the side here when you're applying. We don't want to go bang, pop, and squish our alcohol out right at this corner. That's going to be bad. This is immediately going to dull our finish. So don't freak out because it will come back. Really lightly. And this charge is going to last a long time, especially on this first one where there's still a lot of oil on the surface. So that oil is still acting as a lubricant. It's a little tacky. I'm going to give it a second. So remember, this is pure alcohol. If we set this down anywhere on it, put too much on, it's going to eat a hole in everything that we've just done. Again, bad. Not good. All right. There we go. Very light pressure at first. And you will find that once this does dry out, we can apply more and more pressure to it. And as it gets really dry, depending on how dry that is, um, we can use the pad to almost scrub it. We don't have to keep track of how many trips across we're taking because we are just really doing it until it dries out. And ooh, man, I can see the <laughs> I can see the vapor trail on this one. It's just so fast cuz we don't have any shellac in it other than what's in here to slow down that vapor trail. So I'm getting a really thin application. That's good. That's exactly what I want. Hopefully the camera can pick up that vapor trail flash off. Could 
because it's happening really fast. And I am still not really putting any pressure on this at all. I'm getting all this from my first charge. And you may or may not need to make s multiple charges. Typically three to five charges um, is sufficient. Sometimes you can get away with one, depending on how much oil you've put down. That's really one of the biggest factors in how well this spiriting off works. How much oil did you use? Did you use a lot? It's gonna take more spiriting off uh, charges. And if you used a little bit, if you were able to get a nice compact burnish in your polishing stages earlier, in your leveling stages, then this might not take very long. Uh, maybe you can get away with one or two. But three to five is not unheard of. Okay, I can feel this pad starting to dry out. And I'm getting a little less haze in here, so it's clearing up a little bit. One of the really nice aspects of French polishing is that we are not on a timeline. You have all the time in the world that you can afford. If you need to stop, you can stop. If you need to go back, you can go back. Honestly, you can do these stages as many times, as few times. You can go back, you can start over, you can pick up where you left off the next day. I mean, it's so flexible. And if you're using grain alcohol, just the contact and the vapors aren't going to kill you, which are always a bonus. Okay, now I'm really starting to feel this dry out and uh, I'm going to be able to apply more pressure to it. Yeah, and I'm seeing a lot less clouds. So that means I'm starting to actually burnish this. So I'm gonna use a little bit more pressure. That more pressure is gonna squeeze out more alcohol. So do be careful. because there's still enough alcohol left in this pad to do damage if you stay in one spot too long. And if you really like the traditional methods, 
If you want to be old school, you can certainly skip the sandpaper in our leveling phase and do this spiriting off process. It essentially does the same thing, but it takes a lot longer. Yeah, now I'm getting that shine back. Looking good. Remember, the goal of this is to get the oil off and get our shine back. So after you've thoroughly used up this charge, you want to go and Brush your hand on the back of the guitar, see if it's still got a ton of oil on it, um, if it's still clouding up on you. And if it does, then you'll probably want to do a couple more charges. And you can probably hear, I'm really kind of putting a lot of pressure on, I'm really getting into it. Not seeing much vapor trailing off. And my pad looks to be getting pretty clean. So most of that shellac is coming off. I can still feel a little bit in there, so I'm not done yet. Still some moisture in there. I can hear and feel that it's getting pretty sticky, which means it's getting dry and there's friction. Not so much that it's causing undue heat, but I can really tell that it's doing a good job polishing. And it may even be shinier than before. Okay. That looks pretty good. Yep, still a good bit of oil on there. A little less than before, that's for sure. But it's, I can still see that it's getting cloudy. So I'm gonna charge this again and do another spiriting off. And see where I'm at after that. I have now done my third spiriting off uh, charge and cycle, I guess. And the shine is back. There is not a lot of oil left on the surface. I could do one more, but I'm going to wait because um, in, a, in a day or two, I'm gonna have a little cloudiness come back. And so I need to spear it off then anyway. So I am going to leave it as is and be done with the back on the spiriting off after three charges, three cycles of spiriting off. There's just a little bit of uh, oil left if I put my finger on it. Not much, just a little tiny bit. Uh, so I am gonna let that come back because it, it's almost inevitable that 
a day or two later, some of that oil seeps back up to the surface and I'll just take it off then. And that should uh, do it for the spiriting off. Um, I am going to uh, move on to the sides and the top. One note about that, I'm not gonna walk you through the, the whole thing. That's just gonna take way too much time for um, what we're doing here. Um, suffice to say, you take the exact same process that we learned here and apply it to the sides and the top, you're gonna have success with it. If you had success on the back, which is the easiest to judge how things are going, remember your steps and carry those over to the sides and the top. The only difference is with the sides is that we have these curves to deal with. So like I said before, work on these, treat these as kind of different areas if you want to. So if you come over, over, or if you, you can do the whole thing for sure. It just takes a little bit of work to get over that backside. Um, but if you wanna treat these as different areas, treat this, and then go from the tail block to the waist, you can do that. Just be careful when you are moving your guitar around because the finish that we just did here is still very soft and putting your hands on it is going to leave fingerprints. So be careful about that and hopefully things are going well for you. Good luck. Please comment or message me um, with any questions about the process and hopefully I can get you through this um, with a successful guitar on the other side. We'll see you in the next video.